What's up everybody, we're here at a repair. And I'm kinda, I know I take it along, showing you what we do, what I do in a day, but this is part of the repairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap you to my head and I'll show you what we do for repair, taking along how the process works and kinda like if you have a torch leak, cause this is a torch leak right here, maybe you can do it yourself, give you a little point of little pointers and show you how it's done. So let's go ahead and strap you to the top of my head and I'll show you how we do it. What up everybody, we're putting on the roof. We had to do a little bit of diagnostic and trying to figure this out, so let's check it out. So, the guy's leak right here is coming in from a window right down below. About a foot in, this is where he's leaking at. So what we do here is, instead of coming out and just hitting all the leaks right here with this torch and torching over the drip metal, what we do is we cut. So as you can see right here, the leak is about a foot inside until it's not even wet. You might see a little bit of like rusted nails, but like, see that no water is entering or plywood like this puffs up and you can see that white stuff and mildew and stuff like that. So we cut this all the way to there because he has one leak coming right here. Then he has another one right above here like where this mastic is. So what it is we cut that, no sign of leak. So the only way the water can come in is from a transition from a shingle roof to a torch roof. As you can see, it's already wet right here. There were signs of water coming in under here. As you can tell, you can, you can clearly see it's, it's wet. So we cut this and then boom. Water stain here, water stain here, water stain there. This is, it's not soft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, the water, the water is coming in, as you can tell, right there. So the water's coming in this way, going down, going down, and entering over there. So what we're gonna do, since we, we don't wanna tear up off his roof and previous repair people have done, or else they'd get quite expensive, and they're kinda just looking for some patchwork. We're gonna torch from about right here to my foot all the way up this way up to this AC unit come this way wrap around go up and kind of hit it that way about a foot foot and a half over and go down just so not enough to hit right here so below you don't see the torch <clears throat> you can see the torch if you go up there and stuff like that but it'll just be perfect enough to stop this leak so I'm gonna put all this stuff back so we're gonna re-level it and that's pretty much about it so, me and my guy Hector over there are gonna get started on this repair, get it going, and that's pretty much about it. I'll give you guys a cool little video of how we torch and what we have to do in order to prepare this so it's dry and it sticks. So, catch you in a little bit. This roll right here of torch American white what we use over here I don't know about the roofing it's a good roll made by j and m as you can see right there check it out and it's colored white to match the I know the roof's got tan but you know the guy doesn't matter if it's white or tan he just says fix it so that's what we're out here to do as you can tell that there was previous repairs done to it so we're kind of out here just troubleshooting what other people couldn't fix that's what we're here for. I'm gonna go ahead and load this roll and we'll get to it. All right, so we're up here on the roof. I could just cut the roll. Go from here to there. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Donde?
And then now you're gonna cut the black. Because this is just when you put the actual roof on. You overlap this roll with on the black so it has a good bond to it. But we don't need it. Because it already has a torch on it, we're not putting another roll so it doesn't look bad. We're gonna put a roll here. And then we're gonna put a roll going across this way. Because the leak is coming from about right here or right here, but we don't want to put anything else on it. Check, make sure it covers everything. Alright, so let's burn it. I'll give you guys a cool little time lapse of us burning as working. We engineers were burning the edges. So when you step on it, a bunch of we call caca tar when you burn, because technically it's rubber or stuff like that. So you gotta burn it good. And when you step on it, If you guys are doing this by yourself or you know you take this video and you have a lake on your flat roof and you guys want to do it be careful because this gets really really hot this stuff this black stuff on there will stay hot for good maybe i would say five minutes before it starts cooling off and that shit will take your skin right off of you i've done it before on accident of course but be careful wear gloves because it will get hot just be careful. Always take the precautions and all the stuff before doing your torch. Make sure you got good gloves, torch works, propane tank. Make sure your cable's always. So he's torching over there and his tank's over there. You don't want to catch nothing on fire. So when you do that, just be careful. Alright, so we're finishing up. He's burning real quick. I don't know as you can see. So, this is what we did so far. So we move this down a little bit farther. We move, instead of one more this way, we move that more that way towards the drip middle. And we came up on a piece and we put it from all the way across and did a little bit more than a foot, foot and a half. We did about two feet on that side. He's finishing up right here. Remember, always doing a repair, burn the edges. Always make sure you step on these corners good. A lot of your leaks or anything on torches where you don't burn the seams on this part. So you can tell like how this roof already has seams right here. They're kind of already being, you can tell. They did repair here, it must have been coming up right there. Somebody burned torch right there. And somebody burned torch right here. And then they put mastic right there. So that means, all that means is that those seams are starting to come up and the roof is starting to fail. I mean, this roof is not the newest roof, so that's normal for torch. And I mean, they got all these pipes for AC and stuff like that. All that lead to this roof. So it could be a possible AC leaks, but this one's a roof leak just where it's at in his playroom or wherever. But what we're gonna do now is put mastic along these seams right here and on this side along those seams right there and seal it off and that'll be it and then we're off to the next one catch you guys at the next one what's 
up everybody so we're here the job um, we got a little leak at the solar panels I'll go up there and show you right now so let's go ahead and I'll show you what what the deal is we're up on the roof let's check it out so what we check for is when we're doing solar panels like this is a lot of tin you said there's a pair down here before along the drip metal go check it out there's signs of water already here so this water's stagnant so is this water right but this water's not going up here as the signs because there's no it's dry so check this out look boom whoever did this does not burn right as they can tell it's still wet so what we're here to do is go along all this and tell how that just pops up like that so we're gonna go along here as Hector's doing over there we're gonna burn and pull up every piece inch by inch all the way across all the way down to the end till it hits the wall just be careful if wherever you hire or whatever you do to be quite honest if you do it yourself always check make sure all the seams are burnt good and everything like that we're gonna go ahead and get this done real quick and get out of here what's up everybody so customer asked if we could check out the top roof um we weren't supposed to but we said we'll do it for her and this is what happened this wasn't burned. Either it was burned not properly, or just wasn't burned at all. Or they burned it and didn't burn it enough to stick. So I'll go ahead and go on this side because it's a little, a little sketchy walking around that side. As you can see, we've got a, this our little space to walk to get around to go that way. So I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, so check it out. We got Hector here torching it. This is what he's doing. Something like this, you gotta pull it up, pull it all the way back. As you can see, and then he goes ahead and sets on it. That's how it's supposed to live. There's supposed to be primer under the metal, because when you put primer, it sticks, it dries, it's kind of just like a glue and a spray paint. So that's what he's doing right now. He's going along in whatever they didn't do because it was just mainly this left side. So from all the way over there pretty much to here, um, a little piece right there. But that's about all these other sides. We checked thoroughly and they're all good. So I mean, it just depends on who you, not necessarily who you okay. hire, but see this again? Yeah, so he's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this piece right here. And then we're out of here. Done for the day. It's a pretty quick day. Yeah, I'll let you guys go and hope you guys had a great day. I know this is a little, little add-on, but you know sometimes things come up. You wanted to check this, so we did, and good thing we did because eventually she could have got leaking all the way through here, and then all this would have to come up. Solar panels would have to come up. And there's one, two, three rows of solar. This one doesn't really matter. It's all fine here. Well, good thing we checked it because it would have been a lot of money. So yeah, so we'll probably head out of here in a little bit and finish this up and we're out of here. So you guys have a great day and enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe out there, everybody.